You might have been researching dog training advice, including what to do about biting, growling, potty accidents, and crying in the crate. I can help you with all those things. But are you getting good info on how to prevent issues from coming up? I like to give my students a bigger picture of puppy ownership. The more you know of what's to come, the better you can prepare for it, including preventing bad habits from forming and even preventing those puppy blues. Today, we're gonna talk about the first year and what you can expect from your new puppy. That way, you won't be surprised when you start to see some of these new developmental phases and you'll be able to anticipate and prevent many behaviors that you don't like. Let's go. The first phase is what I call new puppy. Now what? This is usually the first few days or week when your new puppy comes home. Now at the breeder or the rescue, the human might have seen a squirmy, adorable, cute little puppy that was active and curious and really adorable. But when that same puppy comes home, he won't take treats and he won't eat much and he doesn't seem too curious about the world and he sleeps a lot. Well, this is all normal and due to the big change he's just experienced. Now he's not ready for you to start any formal training just yet, but he is learning new things. So I want you to help him do that by one, keeping his space small and quiet, such as a pen attached to the crate. Two, luring him into the crate as you see him falling asleep so he gets used to it. Three, allowing time and space to settle into your home by not introducing too many new people at once and giving him comfortable tools like the snuggle puppy and human companionship. He's probably gonna be terrible at being alone right now. And if he gets really distressed, try not to leave him alone unless he's sleeping. As you work with him more, you can establish healthy and comfortable independence slowly. You're gonna be able to start on that in just a few days. Now, even though he's not ready for formal training games, he's definitely ready to learn Where's that potty spot? And if he was using pee pads at the breeder or the rescue, it's really important that you start working to teach him to go potty outside. Now I can't go into the full potty training lesson here, but I've got a free resource for you and you can check it out when you're ready. It's called the New Puppy Starter Kit and it's gonna guide you through all the potty training and there's even some important information in there about early socialization. You can grab the link from the description below this video or you can just comment new puppy and we'll reply with the details. Did I mention it's free? All right, the next stage, which usually kicks in a few days or a week or so after the puppy comes home is what I call early puppy compliance. Now, during this phase, the puppy's starting to get a little more comfortable and soon falls in love with his humans. He probably comes when called and he sleeps a lot and he might even sit if you ask. Ooh, sorry to disappoint you, but he doesn't really know these skills just yet. He's just acting on instinct. So if you don't work on these skills with practice sessions, he's not gonna maintain them. So if you see behaviors that you like, be sure to capture early success and build on it. So that means reward every behavior you see that you like. Now, in my online course, we call this the 50 kibble challenge and it's actually one of the first things we suggest you do with your puppy even if they're not quite ready for training yet during this phase start introducing new sights and sounds positively first at home and eventually moving to the outside world if he's confident and secure with the new things at home. Avoid scary or negative experiences if you can because he's forming lifelong opinions in that puppy brain of his. And we want him to view the world as a positive place, not one that's scary. During this phase, I want you to be sure to, one, reward all behaviors that you like. Two, start exposing him to new things in the home, including noises. And three, work on crate training and potty training, even if it's already going well. That will help you get through the next phase when you might see some regression. I like to call that next phase the, oh, what have I done phase? Around 12 weeks of age, we see more energy, less compliance, and more behaviors we don't necessarily like. Now your puppy is just starting to get really comfortable in his home and his natural personality is starting to shine through. He may not come when you call him anymore. He might've been okay in the crate for a while, but now he's starting to feel like there's a party going on without him. Don't worry, these things are fixable and it's best to start right now. By establishing good habits now, you're gonna have a lot easier time with some of the phases still to come in that first year. So I want you to, one, keep a good schedule. Watch the length of the wake windows and make sure your puppy's getting enough rest. Number two, start training games if you haven't already. Training helps you learn how he learns and helps him learn to focus on you. And number three, start positive exposure outside of the house if inside exposure is going well. Now again, it's common for humans to get 
the puppy blues during this time frame. We do have a video that can help you with that if you need it. Next, we arrive at the pre-adolescent, also known as the land shark phase. Usually around 16 weeks of age, puppy gums are sore due to teething, and your puppy is probably experiencing some discomfort, which results in some crazier behavior and more biting. Your puppy has an urge to chew, which is also resulting in more crazy behavior, and you guessed it, again, more biting. Your puppy is also likely gonna stay awake if something exciting is happening. No worries. Now, if you've been establishing a good schedule and consistent crate training, you can still help him get the rest he needs. I do have to warn you, though, that this phase is likely to be frustrating, so don't give up. With time, training, and tools, you can get through this and come out with a well-mannered puppy. It just takes a little patience and understanding how dogs think and learn. Also, during this phase, I want you to, one, keep up with the puppy schedule because your number one priority is getting the puppy enough sleep in the crate. Two, add in decompression walks and mental enrichment games like problem solving, training, and allowing for instinctual behaviors like shredding, digging, chasing, and foraging. And number three, Add in some play dates with other dogs of similar size and temperament. Now, if you're really struggling with the biting or you're just starting to see other behaviors that you're not sure what to do with, the Behavior Buster course in my online puppy training program can guide you. Now, the sooner you start to work on this, the easier it's gonna be. And if you wait until these unwanted behaviors or habits, you'll need a lot more work to undo them. Now, we may be approaching the adolescent phase. This usually starts around five to six months. This is the most common age that dogs end up in shelters or being surrendered. Now, I'm not saying that you would do that, but I want to acknowledge that this is a tough time for some new puppy owners. You're gonna probably get a second round of, what have I done? What have I gotten myself into? During this time, your pup might seem like he forgot everything that you've taught him. Fido is not doing this to spite you. He's just trying to figure out what behaviors work best to achieve his goals. Now his goals might be to eat the steak that's sitting on the counter. And if this goal doesn't align with yours, then it's your job to prevent Fido from doing this and teach him what you want him to do instead. The other thing that's happening in adolescence is that your dog's senses are becoming more fully developed. This means means he can see better, hear better, and smell better than ever before. And the world is an exciting place, and now it's even more exciting. So Fido's gonna have a harder time paying attention to you. Like a kid who's not very good at listening, and they're in the middle of Disneyland. During adolescence, there are a few key things I want you to do. Number one, keep those expectations low and your patience high. And remember that your dog isn't acting out to test you or to see who's alpha. He's just moving through a new developmental stage, and he's trying to adjust to it. Number two, do not, I repeat, do not slack off on your training. Now is the time to double down on training sessions. Not only will these sessions work your dog's brain, but they will remind him that good things happen when he listens to you. Now, more than ever, he needs to learn what you expect of him in a positive and loving way. You are not his alpha, you're his teacher. So teach him in a way that works for his species. Next, I want you to adjust the schedule to accommodate a growing body and brain. Your puppy is not a 12 week old puppy any longer. Have you adjusted his schedule? He might not need as much sleep and he'll be able to stay awake for longer. This is definitely the age where mental exercises like problem solving, finding, scavenging, sniffing, and foraging are gonna be critical parts of the schedule and will lead to better rest more than physical exercises. And if you feel like your dog has a never ending source of energy, check out this video for some ways to contain it. And if you need 101 ideas for things to do with your dog, well, they are in our awesome 100 page workbook that goes along with our online puppy training program. Okay. Now we're getting closer to the one year mark and we are approaching adulthood. Dogs are fully grown at slightly different times depending on the breed. Smaller dogs are fully grown earlier and larger dogs often take a couple of years for their brain and body to fully develop. Now, even though all adult teeth are probably in, the teeth are still moving around so it's normal to see teething still. But now you should know what to do about it since you survived the teething phase a little earlier. And at this age, you can start to offer more freedom as your pup appears ready. You'll wanna do that slowly though 
and with dedicated training sessions to introduce new rooms. Now, even though your potty training should be pretty well established by now, accidents are still common all throughout the first year, especially if the human starts to pay a little less attention to the signals or the schedule. You'll want to get ready for any kind of spay or neuter surgery as well. So start introductions to the cone to prepare and to keep the dog quiet and calm after the surgery. We do have videos on both of those topics. By now, you should be getting the idea that we have videos on just about every puppy topic you can think of. And as your puppy approaches adulthood, I want to make sure that you are number one, adding novelty to your dog's day with new decompression spots, playmates, and trying out some new toys or treats or even some games. Number two, continuing training games, especially harder skills like leash skills, recall, drop it, and leave it. And Number three, starting to offer more freedom with controlled practice sessions, exploring new areas. Your pup should still be in the crate when you are away from home though. And if potty training and crate training and teething is going well, you might allow your dog to sleep in bed with you if that's your thing. Now, by tuning in carefully to these phases, not only are you meeting your dog's developmental needs along the way, but you're getting to know him well, including his likes, his dislikes, and even his hobbies. Training your dog doesn't mean teaching him to obey you. It means understanding him as a different species and meeting his needs so he lives a happy and fulfilling life. He can't do this without you. All right, I hope you're feeling a little bit more ready about the first year with your new puppy. It's a lot of information, but we're here if you have any more questions. Comment below with any questions and we'll help you out. Today's topic was a lot of theory and sciencey stuff, so I'm gonna leave you with one of my favorite videos on having fun with your puppy, and you can watch that next. These five games are great ones to introduce at any age. You'll get to know how your puppy learns and your puppy's gonna love the problem solving. I predict a good nap will happen after you do one or two of these games with him. Let us know how it goes. This is Michelle and the How to Train a Dream Dog team signing off for now.